Hey everyone, it's Alfonso the Trader here, and I'm showing you a little update I've got on my uh, tank hunter. Uh, added a couple of hatches on top. Got the searchlight on from the workshop kit. I took a 50 caliber 135th scale machine gun and mounted it here. I'm going to use that as a heavy stubber on the back. Uh, added the door. We've got a little hatch there, a little handle. It's going to be the fuel tank. And then all of these accessories will be going on the tank after I paint the tank. So I'll have all these painted up. And a lot of these are um, Tamiya Kits Academy. And as you can see, I've got some of the uh, Games Workshop um, bits as well. Okay, well I've got a close-up here of the hatches. These are both Games Workshop. Uh, this one here is a full kit here of uh, Games Workshop. And that's a hatch from the Basilisk. The bottom ring part, I don't know where I found that at. That's one of my bits there. But uh, did a little adding of uh, latches for the uh, doors. The heads are from Iron Pig Miniatures, I believe. There's some, uh, just a headset that you can get. You get 10 heads for, I think it was like 6 or $7. I believe it was under 10 bucks. And those are just the um, standard GW bodies that came with it. Um, that little puppy actually came with one of the kits. And I'm going to show you that next. Alright, here's some of the kits I got some of my accessories from. Uh, the 50 caliber machine gun actually came from this uh, US machine gun set from Academy. And we've all seen that sprue. That actually came with the Basilisk. Oh, sorry about the glare. This is the uh, Military Miniatures 135th scale modern U.S. military equipment set from Tamiya. And this is where the, uh, the puppy came from. And you get two sprues of all this stuff. And um, a lot of that's going on in the tank. And the last one was the uh, Allied Vehicle Accessory set from Tamiya. And some of those packs will be going on the tank as well. And with the Modern Warfare kit, this little piece of paper came with it. And what it is is like it's the C ration or ready to eat meal kit. I'm going to do a close up of that in a second. So here we go. I have a little close up here. And you just cut those out and fold them up. And you got all these little boxes. And you can have some torn open. You have like cans spilling out, things like that. It makes the uh, kit, or it makes the. Uh, the model itself looked like it's, you know, it's used every day, and you probably just Xerox these off and get yourself tons of this stuff going. All right, as you can see here, what I'm going to be working on next is I made a little uh, ledge here for the uh, door we open, so you can stand on it. As you can see, next to it is a uh, Imperial Guardsman. That's pretty much head height so I'm going to put a small ladder here and have a ladder continue up the side here and that's what I'm going to be doing next and after I do that that should be everything that I'm going to put on this tank alright guys hope you enjoyed a uh, little update here see you around I'm going to put uh, close up photos on my Facebook take care have a good day and good luck with all your projects